This is the VOA Special English Economics Report. The United States Postal Service has a history as long as the nation's. The Second Continental Congress appointed Benjamin Franklin as the first Postmaster General in 1775. In September, the current Postmaster General, Patrick Donahue, brought an urgent message to a Senate committee. He told the Committee on Homeland Security and Governmental Affairs that the Post Office could need more money by the end of the month. Without the enactment of comprehensive legislation by September 30th, the Postal Service will default on a mandated $5.5 billion payment to the Treasury to pre-fund retirement retiree health benefits. Our situation is urgent. The Postal Service had losses of almost $6 billion for the nine-month period ending in June. That could grow to $10 billion for the year. Part of the deficit is a $5.5 billion payment to the Federal Retirement Plan for postal workers. Mr. Donahue is asking Congress to approve huge changes to the Postal Service. He wants to cut over 100,000 workers, close thousands of post offices, and end Saturday mail delivery. He says the service needs to operate more like a business. The Postal Service is responsible for its own financing and not part of the federal budget. But it does take part in federal retirement and health plans. It says it has paid too much to federal retirement plans and wants at least $7 billion returned. Mr. Donahue also wants to pull the Postal Service out of the federal benefit plans. He says the service's proposals could cut $20 billion by 2015 and return it to profitability. John Barry is director of the Federal Office of Personnel Management, which supervises federal retirement and health plans. He said the Obama administration would soon announce its own plan. At the hearing, Senator Susan Collins criticized the administration for not having a plan already. Leaders of two labor unions representing postal workers have also criticized the proposed cuts. The United States Postal Service has over 560,000 employees. It reported revenue of $67 billion last year, more than either of its biggest private competitors, FedEx or UPS. But as the amount of physical mail decreases, so too have the earnings from postal service operations. For VOA Special English, I'm Alex Villarreal.